Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have done this very fresh, glowy, dewy, what's new? Long lashes, natural brows, nice nude Marvy lip. If you did want to see how I created this, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start with my Smashbox Ready Finish Primer and Hydrating. This is great for those who have dry skin like myself. It is definitely a holy grail primer. I do want to try other primers, but... I'm not sure what ones to go for, so if you guys have any recommendations, then let me know down in the comments below, and I will be listing all of my products that I'm using today too, down there, so you can have a little look, screenshot if you like, have a little stalk of the product, and because I'm a freak and I love my hydration, I'm going to go in with my quarterly beauty elixir. This is just a really nice face mist, so... It's full of all natural ingredients and really, really great and it smells so relaxing. So definitely get on this. I've got mine from Sephora and it retails for about 60 bucks. I'm going to start on my eyes and I'm going to be taking my Tarte Maracuda Creaseless Concealer. And mine is in... I don't know what shade this is. Oh. See so yeah, it? Light medium. <laughs> And I'm taking my concealer brush by Singer. It's the F75. And I'm just going to apply some of the products on, on, on my eyelids. And then I'm going to clean up under my brows too. So just really sharpen that up. And then making sure it's going in the inner corner, the outer corner, covering the whole entire eyelid. I'm going to use my ring finger, I can't do that, my ring finger, and I'm just going to blend that in, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent loose powder, and I'm just going to lightly brush a little bit over my eyes, just where we put the concealer, so it does set it, and then go over the top with some shadows and some pigments, so it is a nice, seamless and flawless, smooth base, first, before we do the stuff. Just tapping off the excess and then just lightly dusting in the corner to outer corner and all the way up to the brow bone as well because we've put that concealer there. Alrighty, I'm going to go into my book of secrets. I can't open it. I'm going to be taking my customised Z palette. This is such a great go-to. It has so many colours that are great for every day. Some dramatic colours, some cool, not really cool tones. It has a few cool tones. Warm tones for everything. So love, love, love this. I'm going to go to my go-to, which is my shadow from Anastasia, and that is Peach Sorbet. Yeah, Peach Sorbet. Not, yeah. I'm really right now. I'm just going to lightly brush this all over my lid, give it a bit of warmth and colour. Take it out just diagonally towards my brow tail. And then just working my way up, back and forth. You can go as high as you like with this as well. It's just a transition, so it's really going to help benefit when we do stack more shadows. So it does, like, flare out a bit more seamless. Beautiful. You can see that little bit of a colour difference. It looks a bit more healthier now that we've got a little bit of something there. Not just concealer and powder. And then the same on the other side. Right, I'm going to take Caramel here from Anastasia. And I'm going to place that in my crease. It's just a bit of a warmer, medium toned brown. So it looks a bit more natural. I lightly go in first. And having a small tapered brush as well really helps. This is the Sigma E45. And I find that it really does help really get into that sort of socket area. And that's where you want to go when you are creating that crease. Because you want to go right in there. Alright, this is the fun part. I'm going to be taking my MAC pigment in tan. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> it was so weird because I've wanted a pigment from MAC for ages, ages and ages. And like, look how big it is. It's going to last forever because it's humongous. And obviously, you don't need that much. And <laughs> I remember when I bought this, a friend sent me <laughs> a video of her having bought something from MAC. And I was like, oh my god, what'd you get? And then she's just like, oh, I got a pigment. I was like, what one? And then she's just like, tan. <laughs> And I was just thinking, I got the exact same one on the exact same day. And we weren't shopping together at all. Like, we were in, like, different stores. It was so weird, but it was hilarious. You know who you are. <laughs> Alright, so I use my Zoeva 226 smudger brush. I just find that 
I don't know, it just sort of packs really well. And the bristles are quite short and dense, but I don't put it at the tip, I put it on the side. So I can just sort of like swipe it down. I'm just going to wet my brush with my Fix Plus by MAC. Alright, so all I do, I've taken the lid off, I'm not going to tip it too much, but taking it off and the brush is wet, so I'm just going to sort of pat in there. So I've got my product all on the brush, and then I'm going to wet it again. So I've got like no fix plus left, it's so sad. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of press in the centre. Mm, beautiful. So pat and sort of swipe so it can just sort of move a little bit and just sort of drag down and then just make sure I cover my whole eyelid. Every time I dip my brush into the product I spray it because I want to make sure that it's going to be held really well and it's not going to just fall out and go everywhere. So I'm just going to cut in circles, take it up to my crease, go higher. And just go to my inner corner as well. I'm going to give my lashes a little coat. Alright, I'm going to use my House of Lashes Iconics for my eyes. They are so long and fluttery and just like this being gorgeous, so I'm going to use these ones. For my base today, I'm using all of these. There's four products here. So I'm using my Tight Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is a very full coverage. I didn't put too much of it though. Next, I used one drop of my CoverFX Custom Cover Drops just to add a bit more pigment and darkness because this foundation is a little bit too light for me now. I used a bigger drop <laughs> of my CoverFX Custom Enhancer Drops. So these ones are that golden, metallic, glowy, dewy, beautiful, beautiful drops. So I mix that in with my foundation so it has a bit more radiance to it. And then, of course, I'm using my Fasali Rose Gold Elixir Drops. These ones help really give that luminosity and that glow. So with these two combined, it's going to be like extra beaming and extra glowy, which is what I want. So all these four products are what is going to be on my face today. So I'm just going to do the perfect color match. Roll this on. I'm just going to buff it in using my Morphe M439 brush and I'm going to start stippling first. And then once that product is locked down, I will then begin to swell. You can see that glow already. I love it already. And I haven't used this foundation in a very, very long time, it feels like. I've been using my Cover FX one, but oh, I missed it. I love it. So pretty. You can see that glow everywhere. It's just so healthy. And also the foundation doesn't have any oil in it, so it's oil free. So that's why I added so much. <laughs> so you're not just like, oh my god, it's gonna be like an oil snake. It's gonna be so gross. <laughs> I'm just going there. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my wet beauty sponge and just go over so it picks up any excess. I'm going to take my Tarte Maracuda Creases Concealer in light medium just to highlight under the eye a little bit, forehead, nose, chin and cupid's bow, everything that we usually do. So, so just starting where I've got the darkest, just right here. This concealer has a bit of a peach undertone. It's going to cancel those purple bags and bring that up a little bit on my nose. And then taking my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to pat that underneath. And I was doing more of like a light highlight today because I don't want it to be too intense. More so just to conceal under the eyes. Nice and concealed. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier to bake under my eyes as well and just a little bit in the center of the face. I'm not going to do it too heavy though, just to really lock in that product. I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm just going to dip into the banana shade right here. 
and I'm just going to lightly dust that underneath my eyes while I take away the bake. And I'm also going to contour using this. I'm going to take some of Fawn in the center and a bit of Havana. And just lightly contour that warm up the frame of my face. And this brush is also my Sigma Tapered Face F25 brush as well. Really, really, really like this brush. It's so soft on the face. And I don't know, I'm really into just like tapered brushes. I just find them really easy to work with. underneath the jawline just to create a little bit of a shadow just to sort of chisel it out get rid of any double chin <laughs> and it's a very very fluffy brush as well so it's gonna for have a more natural sort of contour rather than a harsh one if I used a denser brush I'm gonna spray some more of my quarterly beauty elixir and I'm gonna prep my skin for highlight I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown <laughs> highlighting powder in Afternoon Glow. This is so gorgeous. It is just, it gives me that wet look, like a really, really wet, like I've been just like drenched. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to swirl that because I can never have too much highlight. Oh my god, it's actually giving me a lot. Are you ready? It's like that wet, I don't know how to describe it, it's just, <laughs> it's hitting my heart. It, you know how some highlighters, they're just like very boom in your face, for example like Champagne Pop is like beaming, it's like holy lord, but this one is just like, I've just been like sweating, but it's like that really nice sexy sweat. Right, I'm going to go into blush now, so I'm going to take my NARS Orgasm. I'll be using my Sigma Duo Fiber Blush Powder Brush in F15 and just put that on there. I'm going to draw this on the apples of my cheeks and just flip it back. And I'm just going in circular motions with this just to really tie and blend together the contour and the highlight. I'm going to keep my lower lash line bare. I'm just going to put something in my inner corner and a little bit of mascara and keep that as it is with the eyes because I think the lashes are enough. I don't feel like it needs anything else. But if you did want to recreate and add a little something, go right ahead. So I'm taking my customized palette again and I love going between these two shades. So Spotlight by Makeup Geek and also... I've got a forward shadow here called Magic Act and I mix those two together with my pinky and then just place it on my inner corners and it really does help brighten up and just really draw more attention to the eyes because it's very like eye opening in a way. And then, boom. I love doing this. I don't know why. Just like that peach on the tray and the gold together just really, really make it look so flattering. And I could totally use this on my nose if I wanted to, which I will, because <laughs> I'm going to use my Vera Mascara by Benefit and just coat my lower lashes. Alright, I'm going to use my Fasali Drops and just put a little bit on my lips just to give it a bit of hydration before I put on some lip products. <laughs> so just really squeezing it all out until there's like a tiny bit. I'm going to get in with a swap by MAC lip liner and just, I'm not going to overdraw, I'm just going to just shape my lips just so they're framed really nicely and this is a gorgeous pink toned nude which is perfect for the lipstick that I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Dusty Rose. I'm just going to spray my face one last time using my quarterly. It's 
so refreshing. Just like instant relaxation. Okay, all the ingredients are grape, orange blossom, rose, organic balm, mint, and rosemary. Amazing. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please leave down in the comments if you have any requests for any looks because I would love to hear what you guys want to see. I really, really do like this look. It's very, very fresh, I feel, and it's appropriate for any sort of season too. Alright, so that's it from me and I'll see you guys next time.